You know its name well, it's Ridge, Ridge Racer. Racer for the PlayStation Vita. Hey everyone, this is Matthew, and today I'll be taking a look at Ridge Racer for the PlayStation Vita. With the discovery of a native resolution hack applied to the game's eBoot, I'll be testing Ridge Racer at its original resolution with and without O'Clock Vita, as well as the game at the Vita's native resolution with O'Clock Vita. So first, resolutions. The game originally runs at 720 by 408 and the hack brings the game up to 960 by 544 which means we're getting a 77% increase in pixel count. I provide a link in the description of some screenshots comparing how the game looks at these two resolutions, so if you want an accurate representation of how the game looks, check that out. In regards to clock speed, Rich Racer is originally clocked at 366 and 166 megahertz for the CPU and GPU respectively, so O'Clock Vita gives us a 33% boost on each end. Now on the frame rates. At 408p on default settings, races sit at 30fps a lot of the time, but C dips to 28 or 29 FPS and can drop to 25 FPS. It should also be noted that Highland Cliffs has two specific sections in its course where the frame rate will always dip to 28 frames per second. On maximum settings, Ridge Racer no longer sees the drops in Highland Cliffs, and all courses are completely locked at 30 FPS. Fortunately, up in the resolution of 544p yields almost identical results in racing. I've tested the game across six different courses and had only one drop to 29 frames per second which was in one of the aforementioned sections in Highland Cliffs. It's a positive upgrade and it may be worth revisiting for those that have already played it. If you like these native resolution hacks and frame rate tests, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe. Thanks for watching.